This is Casey Concepcion, WWF Philippines newest ambassador, and I would like to welcome all of you to the Food for the Soil Be a Soil Mate live webinar. And before we start, we would like to inform everybody to please observe the following gentle reminders um, flashed on your screen throughout the session. The Food for the Soil, Be a Soil Mate, a launching event and at the same time an advocacy campaign aims to inform people, especially the food business sector, um, about the unavoidable food waste that we still um, happen to throw away through the landfills and all of these things that people like me are also beginning to learn and all of these negative implications that it has to our environment and the easy soil solution that fits in the palm of our hands is right here and we are all going to discuss it all together and learn together. So um, we will introduce to all of you today a platform that will encourage food businesses and the like to divert their food waste by having them collected and converted into compost, a valuable resource essential in building healthy soil. And did you guys know that December 5, Saturday is actually World Soil Day. Advanced ang ating celebration, pero dapat everyday natin inaalala ang kalagayan ng ating Mother Earth or ang ating lupa. And starting today, let us all celebrate it by becoming a soil mate or what we like to call protectors and lovers of our soils. And right now, the norm when when dealing with um the, with food waste is to really from from what I know, from what I see, and from what we you know what we all practice right now is we usually gather them in plastic bags. I think we might all agree that this is um the norm when it comes to food waste and doing kitchen collabs, um my virtual cookout every Saturday. I have really learned um about the chef's ways and just how much food waste there really can be um, after a cooking session. And especially those who live with their families or especially those that own businesses in the food business, um, the norm is to just gather all of it in plastic bags and have them hauled by dump trucks to the landfill um, where they are mixed with all sorts of trash. And this also happens um, to be the easiest way and the most effortless way to pollute uh, our soil and our air. So for today's live webinar, I'm really happy because we will be talking about how we can avoid this problem and really deal with waste and food waste in a much better and, and, and this should be the new norm now what we're about to discuss. So before I introduce our speaker, can we do a quick location check with the audience right now, whoever is watching Soilmate, be a Soilmate, Food for the Soil. Um, where are people from? I want to know where the audience is from. Um, I actually don't know where you're all from. I know that a lot are from Manila. A lot are from Laguna, from Quezon City. Okay. <laughs> wow, you guys. I didn't know I was live already a while ago. I was waiting for uh, the show to begin. But hello, everyone from QC, from Alabang. Everybody from Cavite, it's so nice. You know, the Philippines can really be um, the eco, it could be the hub for all things ecotourism or even just sustainability. It's really something that we can celebrate this generation. It could be the, um, it could be our generation that really makes this happen, that really makes this work. So thanks to everyone tuned in right now. Um, this is a first for me. I'm learning about everything dahil sa hilig ko sa pagluluto and sa pagkain and sa pag-scout ng bagong restaurant or ng, um, to, to support and promote restaurants here in uh, the Philippines. I would love to really see this change happen as a consumer, but also as a an earth lover and WWF ambassador. So maraming maraming salamat po everybody for joining us today. Also, we'd like to encourage everyone to please stay tuned until the end of the program and to listen intently to our speakers because we will be giving away um, prizes to the winners of our game later. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody's excited to um, get the ball rolling. So ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome WWF Philippines Project Manager for the Soil, Soil Mate, not Soul Mate, no, Soil Mate and Sustainable Diner 
project, Miss Melody Melo Reich. Good morning, Miss Mel. Hi, Casey. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And I would like to welcome you again to uh, to our Panda family. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's really my pleasure. It's what an honor to to be working with all of you. I, I have a lot to learn, and it's a con these are conversations you know that are so important for our generation to have because. There's so much information on social media and, you know, we, we like, I mean, girls like me love to talk about traveling and like to talk about, um, you know, products, whether it's beauty products or anything for the house, our kitchen supplies or all of these things. But there are, we would love, I would love to have more discussions about the effect of what we're consuming or how to really be more sustainable, whether in fashion or food. So please take it away, Miss Mel. I'm sure our viewers are super excited to hear more about um, being a soil mate. <laughs> um, I believe in soil mate. So take yes. it away. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. So good day, everyone. Welcome to Food for the Soil. Be a soil mate. So we will be talking more about food waste diversion. Ano? So for today's menu, we'll start off with the background of the project. So the sustainable diner at the same time, soil meat. Then we'll look at the food waste problem that we have here in the country, um, more of the environmental impacts, um, how to divert it away from the landfills um, through composting. And lastly, we will be uh, talking more about this soil meat. Sabi nga ni Casey, she believes in soil meat. So I hope you believe in that too. So again, I'm Mel. I'm the project manager of the Sustainable Diner Project and also of soil meat. So, just to give you a briefer again of what the Sustainable Diner is all about. So, we, we want to connect our uh, food choices actually to environmental protection and environmental um, impacts. Ano? And we are working with integrating um, sustainability principles into food-related national and local policies for food business operations and consumer behavior Filipinos. So, di ba, medyo interesting siya yung food natin, kinukonnect natin sa environment. So when you say being a sustainable diner, what what does it mean ba? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin natin ng pagiging isang sustainable diner? So it's actually embodying five principles that we have. So number one, we promote local and seasonal produce. Second, we are all about conserving our resources such as your energy and water. And we are also about reducing your... Um, overall waste, so your single-use plastics in particular. Then we are also promoting plant-based consumption. And last but not the least, so the main topic for today, it's all about food waste. So yung food waste kasi meron siyang kakambal na term. So meron siyang kakambal na tinatawag nating food loss. So you must be wondering, what is the difference between food loss and food waste? So essentially, these two concepts are actually revolving around wasted food, but their difference lies on when they were thrown away. So if you look at the journey of your food from the farmers up until our plates, so yung from farm to fork, so your food loss happens in the earlier uh, stages from the farmers, yung production side, until the markets. Whereas your food waste naman, it happens with us. Once we buy it, we prepare it, and we eat it. So in the interest of this project, we will be focusing more on food waste, yung nangyayarit sa, sa consumption side. So yun. Um, yung food waste kasi for, for, the, for the viewers and for Casey also, it's actually a big problem here in the country. In fact, in Metro Manila alone, we are wasting 2,175 tons of food waste every single day. So if you multiply it by 365 days, that's more or less 800 tons of food waste every day. Metro Manila lang yun ah. And another fact that we have um, in terms of our solid waste is that majority of our solid waste is actually biodegradable waste that we should have prevented it from being dumped in the landfills. So itong mga mga pressing issues na ito, ano ba yung connection niya sa ating environment or dun sa tinatawag natin climate change? So, first, when we waste a lot of um, food, 
we waste a lot of resources by just throwing away that food. So when we waste food, we also waste number one, ito, talagang issue ng mga tao ito, yung pera. Money, we use to buy it. So the second, yung resource natin in terms of water na ginamit natin during production. Then third, yung soil nutrients na ginamit natin when we grow our food. Then we also have the transportation, the labor cost, to plant, to harvest, to transport it to us. And lastly, yung time, effort, and energy ng lahat ng mga taong involved from getting your food from your farm to fork. And second, when we talk about food waste kasi, it's highly connected to your greenhouse gases. So when your food waste ends up in landfills, they rot, di ba? Nabubulok siya and it emits a very strong foul smell. So di ba, mabaho siya. So actually, yung naaamoy natin na yon, it's a greenhouse gas we call methane. And when we talk about greenhouse gases kasi, we are often um, associating with, with uh, it with carbon dioxide kasi siya yung pinaka-common. But actually, your methane is a greenhouse gas that's more potent and more powerful than your carbon dioxide. Sabi nga nila, if, if you um, liken uh, food waste to a country, it's the third largest emitter of your greenhouse gases. So yung greenhouse gases na yan, it contributes greatly or immensely to your climate change. So yun. Ano, di ba? Um, ngayon natin na-realize yung food natin, konektado pala siya sa ating um, kalikasan. Yes, Miss Mel, actually doing um, work with you guys no, in the last few weeks or months, uh, yes. just about food and about um, food uh, waste management and things like that and also the connection that we have the relationship that we have with food mm -hmm. this is definitely something that i um am with you know this is something that our generation really needs to think about more is i always yes. say on my show on my cooking show kung saan tinuturuan ko magluto ng mga kaibigan ko with a live audience on instagram na um you know food parang our connection with food is not just about weight loss, weight gain. Mm -hmm. Our relationship with food goes beyond how food will make us feel and look. It also talks about our role as the earth. Because like I always say, we, don't, we are not just living on planet earth. We are the earth. We mm -hmm. are the earth. So right? it's something we don't always really talk about or realize on a daily basis on in our everyday lives na our relationship with food who grew it who spent the effort the manpower the labors blood sweat and tears the farmers the fishermen they are frontliners who have really helped us to you know produce this food to get it to our tables but what happens after we consume it is on us kasi wala na sila dun eh. Nagawa na na yung trabaho to bring the food to our table after we prepare it in our homes or our businesses and our restaurants or, you know, how, what do we do after that? And so, mm -hmm. you talking about this is so important to food lovers, uh, restaurant goers, travelers, mm -hmm. tourists, uh, and of course, business owners, um, mm -hmm. and just families, diba? or Or people who are... Um, homemakers. So it is a it is a universal concern that we don't really talk about. It's not the sexiest thing to talk about or the most um, you know, it's easy to gloss over it. So my question, Sigura po, when it comes to um, food waste, diba? everything that you're talking about, I mean, I can't believe 2,000, 2,175 tons Tons per day. Waste. Mm -mm. Per day. Yes. 2,175 tons are, of food waste are produced per day. Yes. So in one week, and ma, hindi ako magaling sa math, mahina po sa math, <laughs> pero in one week, diba? or in one whole year, grabe. Grabe. Mm -hmm. So, um, how can you share us exactly what efforts? Um, exactly the real life efforts no, that we can relate to or that we can understand um, that is done by WWF's Sustainable Diner Project. I started working po with um, Sustainable Diner Project 
uh, when I started doing my Kitchen Collabs virtual cooking show on Instagram Live. And we have an average of 2,000 um, people engaged in the live shows every Saturday and about 20,000 to 35,000 people who have um, really viewed. And we've been talking about the Sustainable Diner and what they're about. So please tell us more about um, how we are practically IRL in real life, <laughs> what we are doing, the efforts we're doing to really solve um, and help this problem of food waste and the mismanagement of food waste. Please tell yes. us more about the solutions. Yes. So Casey, thank you for your insights. Ano? Tama ka na tayo mga consumers, we have really the power to change the, the ball game in terms of our current food system. And with WWF Philippines, the Sustainable Diner Project, um, we have been engaging with several members of the hospitality sector that are eager to find green solutions to their food waste difficulties for almost four years now. So when you talk about the Sustainable Diner Project, we aim to empower our companies to reduce their food waste at source. Yun talaga yung pinaka-importante. You, you reduce your waste at source. Then next, you explore the possibility of donating your surplus food. Yun yung mga po pwede pa nating mapakain or pwede pa nating kainin. Then last, ito na yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So the rest of the time that we have, we will be talking about diverting unavoidable food waste away from the landfills. However, kasi kasi yung, yung pag-divert away from the landfills, um, the hospitality sector expressed that they are willing to help naman. But may mga challenges din kasi tayo na encounter when, in, uh, when we talk about the diversion. So this third approach actually proves to be especially challenging to pull off for businesses, most especially those who are situated in the urban areas. So... Um, ang masasabi ko sa mga food businesses, they are actually um, very, very welcoming with the idea of composting. Ano? But with the challenges that they face, um, for example, meron tayong limited options for them to divert their food waste away. Kaakibat niyan yung nandun nga sila sa urban setting na limited din yung space for composting. Tapos wala ding facilities nearby for composting. Then, one of their biggest concerns would be yung amoy, yung odor that can potentially attract yung mga ano natin, vermin, yung mga rodents natin, pests, stray cats, and dogs. And for, for an industry like the hospitality sector, the food service industry that is dynamic, fast-paced, and time-bound, time um, they find composting too much of a process para gawin pa nila, no? And last issue na na, na na bring up sa amin ng, ng mga food businesses would be the inconsistency of the of the hauling because um, the waste collection ano because sometimes the food waste tends to stay within their premises for a longer period of time. So ito yung mga challenges na na kita natin upon consultation with them. Wow, yeah, because how many restaurants are there in the, in Metro Manila alone, right? And nago ako na yung math, Miss Ben. Oh. <laughs> ito na, ito na, nag math na ako, nag math yes. na ako. 800, <laughs> 800,000 tons yes. of food waste is produced per year. What the Metro it? Manila lang, ha? Huh? <laughs> Metro Manila lang alone, you see. Oh, oh. <laughs> My gosh! So, it's really a problem. We don't yes. talk about it, but I hope that more conversations like this will really um, urge people to see that this is 800,000 tons a year from Metro Manila alone mm -hmm. is a problem. Okay, yes. so we're talking about the challenges in food waste diversion by the hospitality wow. sector. So, um, Composting is too time-consuming, too complex of a process. Um, you're, it's true, we can only do so much micro, I mean, in our own business, in our own communities, our own cities. But really, if there is an inconsistency in waste collection, paano? Um, mm -hmm. Limited options, limited space. So recognizing all these challenges that you've just talked about faced by the hospitality sector, I mean, Personally, I also um, have invested in certain restaurants like um, Mesa, 
Um, and and you know and so I I really do mm-hmm. see I have an idea of what goes on in the kitchen and what goes on in the business of it. Uh, there's so much food waste talaga per restaurant. Yes. Really. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine with the restaurant business booming or before pre-COVID was truly booming. And up to now, you know, there's so many talents, uh, mm-hmm. culinary talents coming up and wanting to do new things. Of course, we have to support them. And we also have to support the planet in return as our restaurant businesses boom. Because mm-hmm. it then it's doing your due diligence. It's doing your, your duty, your duty as a business owner or a food, food lover, right? Um, uh, a food tourist even, you know. But... Recognizing these challenges um, in food diversion or composting, how will these businesses, restaurants and chefs and all of these restaurant owners move forward? The hospitality mm-hmm. sector, hotels, all of that. How do we move forward and um, overcome all of these limitations? Because yeah. we can talk about it all we want, right? I mean, na lang natin. Mm-hmm. we can talk about this all we want. But if the solution feels... Um, unreachable or impractical, di ba we talk about solutions mm-hmm. all the time, then mm-hmm. paano? Paano po ba to? Um, yes, oo. So, Casey, yes. tama, tama ka. Um, we really have, hindi lang dapat recognizing the problem yung maging, ano natin dito, approach. We have to find the solution. So, with the TSD, so the Sustainable Diner, we continuously seek to address these concerns. So, we are very fortunate that we are able to team up with Green Space. So it's actually a company that is solely focused on food waste composting and collection. So yeah, na, composting and collection at the same time. So together with WWF, we are to develop an app called SoilMate, which aims to grant businesses easy access to Bokashi composting and a centralized food waste collection system. So lahat ng mga challenges kanina na binabanggit natin, ina address na natin with this partnership with Green Space. So, Casey, I am uh, I am very fortunate to have with me um, the the chief soil meat of uh, of Green Space. Ano? So now to guide us through Bukashi composting, here's Miss Rina Papio, the chief soil meat of Green Space. Hi, Miss Rina. Hi, Miss Rina. Hello. Hi, good morning, Casey. Good morning, Mel. Good morning, Casey. I would love to learn more about this, just like everybody watching right now and who will be watching this um this post, no, this video. Um, please do tell us more about green space and also about Bokashi composting. Now, I just learned about Bokashi composting like yesterday or two days ago, and I just how you um thank you so much for our starter kit i was going to order and and register and apply and subscribe and all of that but thank you for sending that over i'm really excited to try it so please tell us more about um these solutions that are really really doable um to help the situation of 800,000 tons of food food waste produced per year in metro manila how do we change things change the ending how do we how do we make things better and really make this the story of our generation of how we were able to achieve sustainability and reduce food waste in in our city or in our country okay right right thank you casey uh, i'll be doing that this morning and um again uh re- this is rena the chief soil mate of green space and Thank you to WWF and the Sustainable Diner team for always making it possible for partners and for everyone to have access to learnings like this and the opportunity to do something to make this world a better place. Today, we will be talking to food business owners and together let us aim to keep food waste away from landfills because by doing so, this is how we will bounce forward and how our businesses will run in the new normal. As what we've already heard from Ms. Mel, um, we've already established that sending food waste to the landfill is a degenerative practice and we want to stop doing this. So the question now is how do we keep food waste away from landfills? The obvious answer, of course, is composting, but how do we compost? So there are different ways to compost and what matters is to find what suits you. It may be defined by how much space and time you have, especially for food businesses, no, where we need to maximize the space in the kitchen. And most kitchens do not have space to do actual composting. 
uh, we want less mess and we need to do everything as quickly as possible. So no matter what it is, there must be one that suits you and your business. So this is what Green Space is all about. Green Space is a food waste composting company. When you hear Green Space, think of it as the new destination for your food waste. So hindi na landfill. Where food waste is not trash and where food waste is treated as a valuable resource in building healthy soil. It is our vision in green space for composting to become an integral part of every person's daily life. In the same manner that we eat, drink, sleep, ganong level, no? We need to put all things in its proper place, including food waste, to always go for composting. By composting, kasi we build healthy soil, which will become our constant connection to our food source. As mentioned earlier, NCR is throwing away over two tons of food waste daily. Na compute ko pa, no? Casey, kung gaano kadami yun. It comes from all of our kitchens, either from home or from the food business. Imagine if all those food waste can be turned into compost, then sent to our farmers so they can have healthier soil for growing the food that we eat. This will be our role in the story of regeneration. Exciting, di ba? So, yes, regeneration, we... Miss, Miss Rina, when you were yeah. talking about um, it should be part of a daily lifestyle in the same yeah. way that eating, drinking, sleeping. Okay. Right. So, when there's food, after mo kumain, saan mo pupunta yung mga natira? Yes. So, you have to I be know, mindful. Yung composting po na intimidate ako sa pag sinabing composting parang I remember um, they would teach us that no, in elementary or elementary school or high school and how come nga, it's not part of our lifestyle if it's so good to if it promotes regeneration kasi when food waste goes into garbage bags like on the screen and plastic first of all we're using so much plastic with the garbage bags um, and then where does it go from there? It's mixed yeah. with the non-biodegradable and and you're right there. I mean, it what a way, no? If there is a solution to make it go and turn around and go back to the earth, what yeah. we use in our kitchens, like what um like it starts from our homes, right? right. The kitchen is where it begins. Right. And, right. and so it should also end on the earth in a, in a way that regenerates the earth and helps us to grow things back. So, yeah. yeah, thank you. Please continue. I would love to absorb all of this information. Yes. Generally, kasi when we talk basura, ano yun, we don't think about what to do with it. Eh. And uh, for some, waste disposal is a free service. I mean, we just need to wait for the truck who will pick up the garbage. Then it's gone. It's a free service provided by government unfortunately we're trashing our planet for free but it's time to challenge this old idea after today let's be bothered and feel uneasy whenever we see food waste ending in garbage bags and then mixed with other ways so this is the solution that we offer from garbage bags to buckets we will now be collecting food waste in composting buckets so it can be used to feed the soil and regenerate the planet. That's going to be through a simple method known as bokashi composting. Bokashi is a Japanese term. It means fermented organic matter. And the key to bokashi composting is anaerobic fermentation, meaning without air or you're fermenting in a closed bucket. And it happens due to the presence of beneficial bacteria or good microorganisms found in the Bokashi brand. It is this fermentation stage that sets Bokashi composting different from other composting method. The acidity or the pH drop during the fermentation process prevents rotting so there's no foul odor and it will not attract pests. These are two things people commonly worry about when talking or thinking of composting. Fermentation also inhibits growth of pathogenic bacteria and it breaks down food waste for easier digestion of the soil microbes making the whole process quicker. So let's look at our role in Bokashi composting in two general stages, the collection stage and the composting stage. In between these 
stages is when the microbes are at work. So while we keep the food waste inside the closed bucket, the microbes work and ferments the food waste. The collection stage is where we all layer the food waste with Bokashi bran inside the bucket. And the composting stage is where we layer the fermented food waste in soil to finish off the decomposition. At the very least, all of us can collect our food waste in buckets. And this is what we ask our clients to do as a soil mate. In this composting service that we offer to households and businesses, what it means is you just collect your food waste in your green space composting buckets. Then when it's full, we will get them from you and compost them for you. So that's what uh, we have been doing. And this is a service that we're already doing for clients like Alveo Corporate Center in BGC. They have been collecting their food waste since 2019, I mean September of 2019. And uh, have already diverted over 1.8 tons since they started. Similarly for Glorieta Mall, in a pilot program done from July to September 2019, over 6.5 tons of food waste have been diverted from seven merchants who part participated in a two-month uh, pilot program. After going through the workshop, we visited the participants' kitchens to deliver their buckets and brands, and we discussed with the staff how they can properly implement the new collection system into their day-to-day -day operation. After just two months, these are some of the feedback we got from our merchants. So first is the waste reduction. Since all food waste are neatly packed in buckets, there's much less waste left for disposing and a significant space in the kitchen is saved. Hindi na malaming maraming nakaset na garbage bags. Then less trash bags are used, which is both a reduction in cost and in plastic waste. Lastly, the properly segregated waste makes disposal quicker and with the area uh, or the kitchen area being much cleaner, it also helps in preventing pests mas mabilis nakakauwi ang staff after store hours. Additionally, we've been working with friends who run their own food businesses as well. Kaan Recipes by Cha is a home-based food business in Pasig City. Since their first month of operation in May of this year, 100% of their food scraps go to us for composting. For our friends from WTH Foods, it's a plant-based meat company at the height of the lockdown, they started helping low-income families and frontliners by providing them with nutritious plant-based meals, but they went beyond providing meals. Inisip din nila yung environment, so they made sure to start composting. So uh, if you look at it, they think of our farmers, they think of the health of the people, they think of the environment, the planet. Ang saya, di ba, kung ganito na yung bagong business as usual. So kaanin, WTH Foods each diverted over 100 kilograms of food waste so far. One major but simple change that you will need to make is your commitment to put all your food waste in a composting bucket and layer it with Bokashi brand. Let's talk about the bucket. A 20 liter bucket can contain an average of 10 kilograms of food waste. It needs to have a tight cover, which is important for the anaer anaerobic fermentation process. And please know that the cover of our buckets is made of 100% upcycled plastic made by our partner, Sentinel Upcycling Technologies. A strainer is necessary so that any excess liquid in your food waste can drain to the bottom of the bucket to avoid the content being too moist. But what comes crucial for Bokashi composting is the Bokashi brand. So I've been mentioning the Bokashi brand. You know. it, the beneficial microbes in the Bokashi brand are the ones responsible for that fermentation process. So Green Space makes high quality Bokashi bran uh, by fermenting rice bran and carbonized rice hull. And we're using a superior quality microbial inoculant known as EM1. But what makes Bukashi composting simple is the fact that all food waste can be added, meaning for the fast-paced nature of the food businesses, there's no need to sort through your food waste and there's no need to leave anything behind from the scraps during preparation 
to leftovers of dining customers, toss everything into your bucket. Again, we say it's simple. It may not be that easy, pero sa simula lang yon. Sabi nga, sanayan lang. And it's only a matter of time you would master the art of layering food waste and brand into your composting bucket. But how else can we master this art of layering? It's by getting into a daily food waste routine. You can put buckets or temporary collection beans in uh, different prep stations in the kitchen, then place a strainer on standby by the kitchen sink where you will put all leftovers. So this way, any excess liquid will be drained. So there will be less liquid going into your bucket. Then you gather all your collected food waste, use your strainer as a measuring device. Kapag puno na yung strainer, Toss it into your bucket, sprinkle it with a handful of Bokashi brand. One handful is actually more than enough. Tinadagdagan lang natin ng up to two or three handfuls ng Bokashi brand when there's meat or dairy, fish in the food waste. Kasi we need more of the microbes to ferment all the high protein stuff we put in the bucket. So you just keep adding into the bucket hanggang sa mapuno siya and you're ready to start filling up your next bucket. Make sure lang na in between adding a food waste, you keep the bucket sealed so less air goes into the bucket. As you can see, it's not really rocket science. Sana yan lang talaga yan. If there is anything that you need to seriously learn, it's understanding the smell of fermentation, starting with your Bokashi brand. It will have a sweet, sour smell. <clears throat> Think vinegar or diba, anything na na-ferment yung mga achara, ganyan. Once you start collecting in your bucket, your bucket should also have that same fermented, close to vinegar smell. Not that gusto nating mamay suka, but without this Bokashi brand, you could end up with putrefying waste smell. So the odor of nabubulok na basura. And ayaw natin yon, especially in our kitchens. Let your nose be your guide. The moment your bucket smells bad, it means that you need to adjust something. It could be a sign that your bucket is too moist, so you have to add in layers that can absorb extra moisture, or maybe you need to put more Bokashi brand. You will learn more about this, and we will discuss more Bokashi tips and troubleshooting when you subscribe and undergo onboarding. Now, where will your food waste go? It could go to our composting site in Playa del Bulacan. Luntiang Bakuran is a project of the Rotary Club of Plaridel. The compost pits you're seeing on the photo on the left side, it was built by Green Ants using Green Ants Eco Bricks. So that's your clean and dry plastic turned into bricks, turned into a composting pit. So you could also go to any of our upcoming rapid composting facility. What it means is we can compost more and more food waste as we open more composting facilities in key cities around NCR. So as we try to divert more food waste with more soil mates, we aim to close the loop similar to what we are building with the good food community, wherein a subscriber as a subscriber, you get your supply of fruits and vegetables from Good Food Community. Then you send your food waste to green space for composting. The compost we make ends up with a partner farm who supplies their produce back to Good Food Community and the loop of life goes on and on. What does healthy soil mean? What you're seeing in this photo is eggplant grown in Bokashi compost, as what you're seeing on the left side of the photo, against the ones grown in soil without compost. So this is the difference between sending food waste to the landfill and composting. We're able to return all the nutrients to the soil and the healthy soil grows healthier food. Another good news is that you will not be doing this alone. Together with WWF Philippines and the Sustainable Diner, we will be conducting more hands-on workshops with those who will subscribe to the service so you and your staff can closely learn the steps to Bokashi composting and understand it more clearly. We will be guiding you on how to implement and integrate it in your day-to-day -day operation to make sure that the whole process would add value into your business and not cause any disruption. But why bother doing this? It may simply be for compliance, but it is a responsibility to our community, to society, and to the planet. With what's happening in our planet, it's really time to mind your food waste, our food waste, 
and your kitchen is where it will begin it definitely makes good business sense so let your sustainability program show what you mean when you talk about people planet profit and purpose let your composting efforts appeal to the young adults who are looking for brands whom they can form lifelong commitments with and having your community sustainable future in your priorities is something you and your customers can be proud of also give your staff a chance to do something meaningful for the environment and be a model to your customers influence them to compost at home tell customers that all your kitchen scraps and all the leftovers are being composted and ask your ask your customers to do the same at home any leftovers to be discarded should be composted as well to end please remember that whenever we send our food waste to the landfill we are throwing away a valuable resource that can help build soil so it's really time to make a change from land fillers let's all become land healers be our soil mate and let's heal this planet and you can start your composting journey with us now by scanning the code you're seeing on the screen it will lead you to links uh what you're seeing now where you can order products or subscribe to the composting service watch a video tutorial and uh everything else so that's what i have for you today thank you very much casey Miss Rina, thank you so much. Wow. So actually, I was taking down notes while you were speaking, and I also see some questions here from people who are um, he, right here with us right now discussing our, our community of, of food, uh, hospital, uh, business owners or, or um, you know, our community in the hospitality sector and everybody that's here right now. Um, we will be asking you their questions later on. Okay. Um, and I'm I actually I'm super attached na to ask you the questions because I want to ask you because I really want to learn about this just like everybody else because the idea is actually very exciting. Um, I never thought I would be excited about something like this, but. I think more and more people are becoming more uh, hyper aware of how we can actually control what we do to be able to make the earth a better place because climate change really is a big problem right now. We are given 10 years um, by you know, authorities or by the planet uh, protectors. No? They're giving us that report card to present in 10 years. Um, how we've done um, how we've combated climate change or how we, what we've done for the earth. If there are certain things that are reversible, we're only able to reverse those um, concerns and problems in the next 10 years. And after that, if we're unable to do so, it is irreversible. Um, so everything we hear about climate change is real and we cannot solve it. You know, it's such a big, vast problem, but I think something like this, when you talk about, um, the alternative solution to food waste that instead of throwing it in a garbage bag a plastic garbage bag and then it ends up in the landfills when you talk about this alternative where instead of landfills we we go to what's your term um yeah so it becomes it goes back to the earth no it, it's an alternative and i love that this is something we can do at home um definitely i mean i would love to find a video a step-by-step -step. otherwise what like what you mentioned there are workshops um it would be great to involve everybody and see how easy it is it really is just a matter of practice and like you said it should be part of our lifestyle as as well as eating drinking sleeping so when we cook when we eat out we want to know that um restaurants are incorporating this in their system and you did miss rena if you don't mind you did mention uh that you gave initially a two-month run yes. for, um, for the uh, businesses. Like, for example, in Glorieta, you had Bose Coffee, you had Kaya, you had McDo, you had uh, like seven different right. restaurants. And then you also mentioned Alveo in Greenbelt. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm not endorsing any of these, but I really do commend them for trying this right. out. So you said in the two months that there was a 30% reduction. Mm -hmm and in food wastage or um, uh, 
how do you call it? Actually, yeah. the waste that they dispose because uh, what they normally do is they just put everything mixed in a bag. But once you separate things, so if everything is mixed, everything is thrown away. But if they're properly segregated, you realize that, oh, I only have to throw away a smaller portion than before that I have to throw everything. So it just takes a little bit of effort, no? Like you, you can't make it too wet. You can't throw out a wet produce and all of these things. So there, right. of course, there is some work that goes into it, but it's not, it's not, it's not work that's rocket science, right? It's not complicated. Once you get the hang of it, just like anything else, and then it becomes your lifestyle. If you understand your purpose and where it's going, what you're doing, and how it matters, why it matters, then of course. So after these two months, Paul, you said um, six point five thousand. Six point five tons. So that's yes, the six point five tons of food waste. Ah, yes, we're um from the seven merchants. Yes. Were, so that's only two months. How is it doing now? I mean, are they still uh, doing the Bokashi system? Are they? Uh, what are the updates when it comes well, to Bokashi? Because of, the, because of the pandemic, a lot of the things stopped. Especially the malls, the offices, there were no people there. They, so were, continuing, just, they yeah, were continuing to do it pre-COVID. Yeah. So we were supposed to start something in March when the COVID started right. so uh, in October November we started talking about how to resume um, this program and actually uh, BGC already BGC already started their campaign for love food avoid waste and they're um, encouraging residents and businesses to start this way of composting that's great we'll talk more about exactly how to subscribe how much it will cost um, how many buckets on average are needed by businesses um, you know all of these things that people want to know it's so nice to see people with questions but we will be answering all that Ms. Rina thank you so much for your presentation okay, thank, you, Casey. thank you and so soil mates <laughs> you guys are my soil mates here are you guys ready to make a change I know you are because you have so many questions that you want answered we will be answering your questions your questions later on in the program. I'm so glad that I'm part of this. Thank you for making me a part of this because this is very important stuff that we need to know about. Now to further help our um, food businesses in diverting their food waste, you guys from the landfill through Bokashi composting, here's Monique Mahusai. Monique Mahusai. Hi Casey. Hi Monique. Hi. I'm Hello. excited to discuss the soil mate project with you yeah, and I was joking around about this <laughs> so this is like the tinder <laughs> this is like the tinder of uh, like-minded people that want to do better for the planet no so it's mm -hmm. it's interesting because um it's very now and it's it, this is something that will definitely resonate with people like me from this generation and even younger i mean this is something we definitely um can include in our lifestyles mm -hmm. like a normal thing um, so please take it away and tell us more about the soil mate project. Um, paano ba mag magiging mas convenient talaga, di ba, yung uh, composting or para para hindi ma intimidate yung mga tao pag sinabi composting. Parang ano yun? Parang oh. ang dami kong gagawin. But actually no. Um, so please, paano ba paano ba natin gagawin to para para sa mga food businesses natin na um, mas maintindihan kung paano talaga magiging part ito ng everyday um, business natin or everyday lives natin. Right, right. Take it away. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. So, actually, sinabi ni nga ni Ms. Rina na madali na lang ang Bokashi composting. Uh, ang composting ngayon because of Bokashi composting technique from Green Space. Pero mas papadaliin pa natin yan by developing a mobile application. So, ano ba to? Yan. So I know uh, Ms. Rina and Ms. Mel and you, Casey, of course, you've given a lot of information already. So I will just tie them up together and I will keep my presentation simple and sweet, of course, like a dessert. <laughs> yeah. So ano ba to? Um, in an effort to divert food waste that is thrown to the landfills and of course combat environmental pollution, WWF Philippines and Green Space is teaming up in this project. And hopefully, this can make a difference for the food business community, especially those situated in the urban areas. So, ito na yon. So, the Soil Meat Project aims to divert unavoidable organic waste from the landfills 
to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and build healthy soil by connecting businesses to a composting subscription service through a mobile application. So actually, some countries have started this kind of idea of food waste diversion already. And us, our country in the Philippines, adapting to this system can potentially reap great benefits from this. So given that the country relies heavily on being digitally connected, especially nowadays, diba? So this uh, mobile application, this initiative um, presents appetite for convenience and easy access. So actually, this the development of the mobile application is still in the works. So this is something that we can look forward to by early next year. But as early as now, we can start subscribing to the sub to the composting service by green space already. Yeah. And also the geographic focus of choice shall be the biggest city in the Philippines, which is Quezon City. And we know that uh, Quezon City was declared as a country's new health and wellness tourism capital. And as of, of August 2018, the city houses 3,426 duly registered food service establishments. But don't worry, guys. If you are outside Quezon City, but within Metro Manila, you can still avail this composting subscription service. Ayan. So the project will be implemented for a year by WWF and afterwards, the management of the project will be turned over to Green Space for continuity and sustainability. Yeah. So we are to develop an app called SoilMate, yeah, <laughs> which aims to grant businesses easy access to Bokashi composting and a centralized food waste collection system. And ito yung mga notable main features niya. So first, the user can easily avail composting subscription packages. So you choose the plan that meets your food waste volume. So if you are aware of uh, your food waste volume, you can already compute how many buckets you can fill up. But if not, we can help you estimate it. Naman. Ayan. Next, food waste collection options. So in the mobile app, you can choose your preferred bucket exchange day. So in this way, you know when to get the buckets ready for collection. And you can already secure all the full buckets which were filled before collection day. Next, there will be a food waste measurement tracker then with methane calculator. Your diversion statistics, such as the amount of food waste diverted from the landfills, your methane emissions avoided, and the compost created are updated each collection and will be made available to your business to show off and of course to celebrate your impact diba? internally or externally. So pwede niyong ipaframe yung mga diversion statistics niyo and ilagay sa mga food businesses niyo. And of course, there will be um, educational materials on food waste composting and environmental issues related to food waste. Um, there will be feedback mechanism. And next, lastly, yung pinaka-favorite ko, <laughs> the mobile application can also be a channel for compost beneficiaries. So we can have the option of sharing the earned compost to our beneficiaries, like community garden or any small-scale farm. So in this way, we can strengthen community farms and gardens to create thriving communities that would value local and healthy food. So here, we can see na we're trying to build a community of earth-conscious citizens, di ba? Yung mga food businesses or hotel hospitality sector na nagda-divert ng food waste nila from the landfills. Yung mga taong nagko-compose, the farmers or the producers, and the consumers who value local produce. So, um, makikita natin lahat sila sa mobile application. Ayan. The Soil Wake app, uh, done in partnership with Green Space, increases possibilities to provide systematic linkage and process solutions faced by the hospitality industry. So, in addition, this idea supports the industry in their decision making by providing evidence-based solutions to support their sustain sustainability efforts 
in terms of resource management and lessening their waste contribution. As what Ms. Rina mentioned a while ago, nga, now, this composting program has been integrated into several businesses operations already. And there are proven evidences that waste thrown to the landfills are significantly reduced. So we are hoping that this initiative, this project, will help decision makers to shift completely from being land fillers to land healers. Again. Next, um, the idea promotes circular economy by keeping up with the easy access through technology that is readily available and efficient. So if that uh, we have a lot of challenges in composting because the resources are not readily available and we are faced with certain inconveniences like wala tayong area to do it, may pests, may foul odor, and among others. So even if we want to compost, we cannot, diba? So through the soy mate application, dadalhin na namin yung solution sa inyo. <laughs> so just subscribe to the composting service, collect your food waste in the Bokashi bucket, and we'll do the rest for you guys. So you'll be able to earn compost back or choose a local community garden to share your compost with pa. So, o, oh, ba nabawasan na yung food waste nyo, nakatulong ka pa sa mga farmer natin, and that's circular economy. Diba? And third, um, soil meat provides continuous and real-time monitoring of waste diversion. So, lack of knowledge about food waste leads to misunderstanding and mismanagement. And food businesses with no food waste monitoring system tend to underestimate quantity wasted and its financial and environmental impact. So, by having real-time data on food waste status and observing the trends, timely actions can, taken by, can be taken by the food businesses to improve waste practices leading to the reduction of food waste. Yeah. And lastly, soil meat supports social inclusion, livelihood, and cleaner food production. So reduction of food waste can lead to operational improvements and employees' behavioral transformation. So it starts from your operation, from your business. So you as the manager, when you open your business to this idea of composting, you're giving your staff a chance to do something meaningful for the environment, di ba? Na pwede pa nilang mauwi sa mga bahay nila. Ayan. And as I mentioned a while ago nga, na Soilmate can be a channel for those who are in need of compost. So we can share our earned compost with local community gardens and urban farms to support their local food system. Ayan. So to wrap it up, yun lang, <laughs> food waste reduction nevertheless remains at the helm of tackling our food waste problems. But now, by composting, community members and businesses close the loop by returning those nutrients back into the soil to grow more healthy food. So now, we can close the gaps that lead unavoidable food waste to landfills by encouraging everyone to be a soil mate. Ayan. So, ready na ba kayong maging soil mate namin? Kayo na ba yung hinahanap namin, guys? Ayan. Yeah, so, yung one. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Ayan. So, we are your partner in keeping away food waste from the landfills. And we also want to be your partner for uh, this journey of leading a regenerative and sustainable business. So, that's it. That's it, Casey. Thank you so much. I hope that our audience from Zoom and also in Facebook learned a lot today. Thank you, guys. Yeah, of course, Monique. We're the yeah. ones that want to thank you, not everybody. <laughs> like I said, this is not a topic I thought I would ever talk about. But mm -hmm. when you asked me to, to uh, participate in this program, I obviously said yes. Um, it was a yes for me because like what you said, no, you can be a land healer. Instead yes, of a land, correct. <laughs> land <laughs> I like that. Um, it does heal the, the land. And these are systems put in place that are available to us that we just need to um, know more about. Just like mm -hmm. anything, it has to be part of our system. Um, yeah. And like, what, like, you know, you've been saying from bag to bucket. And then from bucket, now we're mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is mm -hmm. people like me. And, 
you know, we just really have to know more and make and see that people are doing it. The, the more people who, the more people doing it, the more relatable. So mm-hmm. I really love to see a lot more businesses do this. They get a lot more people talking about it because it is a practical solution and it's great. A lot of people will agree especially in the chat already, that this is great. These are um, resources that are available to us. And so thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and to our food waste problem is now definitely made easier. And it just fits us like a glove. It's so easy to do. Um, I, I personally have my own starter kit here. And we are so excited to be workshop and to know about how it works. And then, you know, maybe I can vlog about this and show how easy it is to be, um, to make it part of our everyday lives, whether or not you own a food business or if you just want to start from your kitchen at home. Uh, so um, thank you again. Um, just I think in 2021, that app is going to launch. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed Miss Rina, Miss Mel, and Monique. At the end of the webinar, I know that they have prepared a short game. The winners will be given a special prize. But really more than that, um, before we proceed to the game and, and ending the show, because we are ending this soon, I would like to invite everybody to support the WWF Philippines uh, fundraising campaign called Project Silong. The link is in their bio and their Instagram account, but also you can just go to bit.ly slash Project Silong. Um, these are fishing communities affected by both the back-to-back typhoons, uh, Raleigh and Ulysses or Vamco. Um, these are in the provinces of Albay, Camarines, Sur, Catanduanes. So these are our fisher folk. Um, I think that's in Bicol. Um, I'm not really great at geography. I think these are our Bicolano fisher folk. Um, they were left with no homes to return to. As it says on the screen, no more boats. Um, they've lost their livelihoods. Um, these uh, fishermen, or the, these communities also, you don't know, but these communities were also preparing for this huge uh, certification that they were going to undertake already um, this year after years of preparation um, to be part of, um, you know, to, to be recognized as a sustainable um, fisher, uh, sustainable fishing community um, in the standards of the world, the international standards. But because of these back-to-back typhoons, it's delayed that and uh, it's really halted them. And so, they just have no homes and so we're currently experiencing very challenging times right now but if you would feel it um, in your heart to help out um, we've been helping out personally with um, Casey's Closet my online shop we've auctioned out gowns and we've been able to raise about 300,000 pesos so far also from my jewelry um, so you can actually do your own thing to help you can also do a direct, a direct donation with the information here on screen so um, that's all the information you need to help our fisher folk in Bicol. And this is called Project Silong. We're trying to hit a 1 million peso mark. This will also help to buy uh, or create their fiberglass boats. We're aiming to, to purchase more than 2,000 fiberglass boats for sustainable tuna fishing. This is going to help our economy. And, and, uh, and you know, so please do, um, you are, if you are in the hospitality business, which we think you are, this is what this program is all about. Um, this will help them uh, do their fishing for sustainable tuna and all of these things. So to learn more about WWF Philippines and to find out how we can hashtag change the ending for the planet, visit www.org.ph or simply visit the WWF Facebook page and click the learn more button. So it's WWF Philippines. You guys, thank you so much for giving me that time to talk to you about Project Silong. It is an emergency appeal. Um, just because the typhoon left doesn't mean that these lives don't need help. So now that I've said that, moving forward, we would like to take the questions now. While I'm here, I would love to help facilitate. Um, I've seen a lot of questions here in the group chat, but it is not for me to say which questions to entertain. Um, but from WWF, our Zoom participants, hi guys again. Sa lahat ng nanonood, um, I know may mga taga Marikina dito. Kumusta naman kayo dyan sa Marikina? I hope everything is getting better dyan in Marikina. I know that there are people also from Alabang and Makati and Laguna and Cavite, Paranaque, all of these places. So thank you for being here. Um, so let's see. So these are the questions we would like to answer. One, 
wait, who's answering them? Not me. <laughs> Ms. Rina, you're here. <laughs> I don't have the answers. I'm also I know, learning here. Okay, so Ms. Rina will help us. Um, somebody asked, how can subscribing to Soilmate help the businesses in terms of profit? So, of course, we're business thinkers here. We are um, really wondering how this will make money for the businesses. That's a tough question. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You that. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, probably one is on savings. So, if you're spending on hauling and it only ends up in the landfill, what if you can save from hauling it to the landfill or maybe the result of where you're putting your money? It's not necessarily a profit, but you're putting money on an exercise that brings your waste to a landfill. But what if you will switch that or, or uh, uh, switch to an alternative like composting? So let's say we'll, we'll go cost neutral. Whatever you're spending in bringing it to the landfill, you'll spend in composting. So there's no profit there, there's no savings, but the result is better. So in terms of um, profit, maybe uh, that's going to be a big discussion. Like if it's going to, the, the compost would end up with a partner farm and you have a relationship with the farm, you'd have, you now have better produce from the partner farm because of how we've improved the soil health, then maybe there's better relationship in purchasing the, the, the produce. So there are a lot of um, aspects to it. So it is, we've been talking about um, the circular economy, right? So it is also the responsibility of the business owner or the business to create that circular economy within its um, business. So um, how much is it actually? Is it very expensive or, or actually really affordable? Mm -hmm. uh, it starts at, uh, right now it starts at 750 pesos. We provide you with your buckets. So you'll have two buckets and you'll have your supply of Bokashi brand. And uh, that includes collection of the two buckets every month. So now, of course, businesses have different volumes. So we need to really discuss with them what type of volume are, are we expecting. So what uh, kind of, uh, what frequency do we need to pick up from them? Do we need to pick up every day? Do we need, can we pick up every week or can be every month? So those things would come into the picture when talking about the cost because it would Im include the the materials that you will be using the buckets and then the brand will be replenished and then the the logistics and the actual composting that will happen in the farm but it starts at 750 pesos per month okay and that's for two buckets yes uh free with the 750 yes monthly. and then how many how much can it um it, how, how much can it take one bucket just to give uh, one, that yes, one bucket is about 10 kilograms of food waste on the average. Imagine a household of four, four to five people. They would fill up a bucket in two weeks' time. So for the when we did the exercise with both co with both coffee, um, they would fill up one bucket in one week. Since they do not have preparation in their kitchen, they only have leftovers from the dining customers. It would take them seven to ten days to fill up one bucket wow so that's just two buckets for for the whole month um for restaurants as big as maxis they could have they could fill up four buckets in one day because of all the dining customers Are you so sure that they have availed this service already during the during the exercise in glorietta Oh, okay. And they have to say that uh, they assigned the food waste um, collection to their dishwasher and so Sipag and he enjoyed it so much that whenever he had to clean up the sink, everything goes into the bucket. So sobrang na-appreciate niya. And all the food waste goes into the bucket for a whole day, at least four buckets would be filled by by. Uh, oh. a restaurant as busy as Maps. Yeah, it seems that, you know, the people who get assigned to this will truly enjoy it. I mean, it's something, it's an activity to do as well and it's something new and it actually is very, um, it's, it makes so much sense. But these are just packaged in ways that have to be packaged, in, you know, 
and branded and things because it has to be it has to be reintroduced to us these concepts especially for city girls and people who've already grown up and been working and yeah oh and a, another question from Ms. Maria Cisip this is great will there be resources available for us to access after this session yeah. Um, WWF normally shares after every webinar um, resources. So, right, Monique, you'll be sharing some materials that uh, our audience can use. Yes, Pa. And actually, um, the video recorded on Facebook will be saved also in our uh, Facebook page so they can uh, re watch the live uh, video there. Okay, and then another question from Ms. Janie Yu. How many buckets on average are needed by businesses? This has been answered, I think. Um, I'm guessing she says that once you reach 10 kilograms in a bucket, you need to use another bucket. So the first bucket has to be right. time to ferment and so on. How long from pu putting food waste to comp? To, okay, so the yes, process, process. Of, from the time you dump the waste into the okay. bucket to the time that it's actually ready for um, delivery to maybe a partner farm or, you know, from that until the product is composted, what is that? Right. What does that look like? Yep, so you collect your food waste in buckets that would take uh, from a day to two weeks, some, either, some households would even fill up a bucket in a month so the collection part would be dependent on the, the the food waste generated at source but from the time the bucket is full we have to keep it for two weeks to let it ferment mm -hmm. and after two weeks the composting part we now mix it with soil and it would take four weeks so from the ferment from the time it's full until it's composted is about uh six weeks so give it six to eight weeks there'll be, you'll have, be having compost as compared to, traditionally, because you can bury your food waste naman in soil. Uh, but that would normally take six months, even to... I have hastens the process for mysteries. Yes, yes. So, um, so that's what we want to happen in the city. Oh, see, this is a, a great point to bring up because I, I, I have no idea about composting and anything like that. It's great to learn because even these days since the quarantine, people are learning how to cook. People are learning how to grow, how to create survival gardens. People are, you know, are so it's basically the whole cycle now that we're learning. We're learning everything from food preparation to um, to this composting right right in the middle we skipped a step actually because yeah. most people just learn to cook and then would grow plants mm -hmm. in their garden but now we're actually tackling what's in between that we never right. talked about which is composting but um, also we'd like to mention that not because we're composting we can now waste food still the best way is to avoid food waste right mm -hmm. so there are chefs who advocate for ways in the kitchen to minimize um, food waste on how you can use every part of every ingredient but we're really just talking about the unavoidable waste that the, the scraps that we need well, we, we eat every so, day we're yeah, supposed yeah, to. And, yeah. so uh, we're not giving you a license to waste food but we're giving you a way to keep them away from the land yeah. and then uh, another question is Rina from Facebook um, I think this might be the last question we're going to entertain, supposedly, because um, we're going to have to wrap this up real quick and live the rest of the day. It is almost uh, lunchtime. So from Mr. Joshua Luis Maanya, will this project be partnered with the academe, like universities and schools, especially um, for the courses that they provide there related to food? They want to know if this project can partner up with universities and uh, schools because they say it would be better for the students uh, to become aware of composting. I think it's a great idea. I don't know what you've been doing so far, Ms. Rina, but like uh, for somebody like me, that you know, the more exposed the topic is, the more you feel that it can be part of your lifestyle. It's like, sadly, people are more concerned about gossip than they are about composting. But in the same, in the same way, you know, this is something that can be discussed and can be done. And a lot of people learn by observation more than being told what to do. So what do you think about that, partnering up with universities and schools? Yeah, that's actually uh, a great idea. Uh, sadly, it always goes back to the pandemic, but we've been talking to some 
potential partners. There are vaccines. Early, early of uh, 2020. Yeah. So, actually, when we started, uh, uh, and the run did their composting and we were servicing there, but we weren't able to continue given the, the pandemic. So I hope when everything's back to normal, we can uh, resume all those discussion. And yeah, it's interesting that uh, the, the, the idea of really not just servicing the schools, but linking up with, uh, like with the students, with specific um, courses or uh, specific uh, subject matters. And for now, we have the online world. I mean, there's so much uh, we can discuss together online. Right. And and like you know, if you do videos of people just actually doing it and, and making it part of their daily, uh, yeah. it's yeah. a huge thing. It will make it. It will familiar familiarize people with yeah. um, with it. I'm sorry about the drilling. <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing something like renovating there, but I hope it, it's not bothering you. Uh, I hope yeah. you don't hear it much. Uh, but yeah, yes. hi, Daisy. Mel. Hi. hi, Mel here. So just to add to the answer of Ms. Rina, no, regarding the, the partnership for universities. So actually, the Sustainable Diner and the Soil Mate, um, we are also heavy on public awareness and consumer education campaigns, and one of which is to develop um, educational modules. So we finished actually um, developing the educational modules for uh, primary and secondary uh, schools. And now we will be developing one for tertiary for tertiary level na and definitely this um, this whole cycle of um, preventing donating and diverting will be included in the module. So I would like to give a shout out to our consultants here from UPLB and to my former professor Miss Angie. Hi, you're here po. So they're the ones helping us to to do the educational module which will include this, definitely. Kasama talaga itong um, composting na ito sa, sa mga courses on hospitality, on nutrition, um, culinary schools, tourism, um, tourism and hospitality management courses. So definitely, ito ay um, kasama sa aming pipeline. Yes, para kasama na rin sa lifestyle at sistema ng lahat yes. kung pag-compost yes. from home, mm -mm. diba? Kasi it, it speeds up pala the process galing. Mm -mm. Okay ba? Is there anything else you would like to in, you would like to add or say to our viewers right now? Um, siguro my parting message na lang. Um, um, as early as now, you, you may want to subscribe to the Soilmate um, subscription packages by Green Space. And um, by next year, we will be inviting you again to our launching naman of the app. So ongoing na yung process natin dito. And we are hoping that not only businesses, communities, we have to work together so that we can achieve a better a better world for all of us especially now that we have this pandemic we have this climate crisis and everything else so we we highly um, um encourage you to do this movement with us and with green space so maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for sharing your time with us thank you then miss mel you're right this is a movement right it is a movement um shouldn't be so hard actually you just need to get hold of these tools and then do it go you know go for it so thank you again miss rena and um miss mel so and to all our viewers thank you so much for your question so ayan na ito na here is the moment we've all been waiting for so simple lang naman po itong game natin meron tayong pa games and this is just to test kung nakikinig talaga kayo kung dahil nandito kayo nakikinig talaga kayo <laughs> May pa test na magaganap. Pero Monique will be asking questions and you will be given only 10 seconds to answer. Paunahan lang kung i-type ang answer sa comment section. And a WWF representative will be sending you a message on how you can get your prize. So this is a test kung meron kayong napulot dito sa session natin today. <laughs> because I've learned a lot. I hope you have learned a lot too. So let's get ready. Monique, are you game to start? Yes, thank you, Casey. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Mm, okay, guys. So, paunahan lang po ito. So, mga keyboard warriors, ready na tayo dyan. <laughs> okay, uh, for the first question, 
how much food waste are produced daily in Metro Manila? So, timer starts now. Okay, sinabi ni Casey. <laughs> Kinong cute niya pa. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Alright, thank you. I think may winner na tayo. So, don't worry guys. A WWF representative will be sending you a message on how you can claim your prize. Okay, let's move on to our second question. Um, give me the three green solutions to food waste problems. Timer starts now. 10, 9, 8. Okay. Tatlo yun. Mahaba-haba. Ayan. I think may nanala na ulit. <laughs> okay. So, third question. Ayan. So, um, multiple choice siya. Just type the letter. So, which of the following is not a feature of SoilMate mobile application? Pakibasa na lang A, B, C, or D. Hindi ko na lang kung may magkamali pa dito. <laughs> okay, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, guys. Now, for our last question. Uh, for this one, hindi na siya paunahan. But we will pick the best answer. So... And after we pick the uh, best answer, of course, a uh, representative will be sending a message if you're the one who won. So what are... i sorry, fourth question pa lang pala tayo. What are the three stages of Bokashi composting? Okay, fourth question. Okay. Okay, last question. Ayan. So, give one reason why composting is essential in your food business operation. Ayan. So, we will pick the best answer, guys. So, hindi na ito paunahan. And yung mananalo dito will be receiving a Bokashi Composting Starter Kit. O, di ba? <laughs> Ayan. So, thank you, guys. Congratulations for all the winners. Again, um, a WWF representative will be sending you a message and will tell you how you can claim your prizes. Ano ba All right? yung, Monique, yung totoo? Ano ba yung prizes nila? <laughs> ah, okay. Um, marami. Nasa picture. Can you show it again, Jonah? <laughs> Meron tayo mga travel utensil set. Ayan. Wow. Meron keep cup. May mga stasher sandwich bag. Ayan. May mga aqua carton transparent bottle. Ayan. And of course, yung grand winner sa fifth question, magkakaroon siya na Bokashi Composting Starter Kit. Okay. Amazing! Um, Congratulations! Ang hihirap ng mga tanong. Ha, ako nga nakapost dito. Hindi ko alam. Ang galing! Yung sagot nilang lahat. Galing! So, kayo pala yung nagpipay attention. Hindi ako. Joke <laughs> Amazing, guys. It's been so much fun. We have to wrap up the show. It is lunchtime soon. I hope you guys um, are excited to have lunch. But I hope that also, you know, this session has really helped to bring up a new idea. It may not be new to a lot of people, but it is new to to the rest of us. And this is so much um, this is so much fun. But also, it's, it's exciting because now we can really see that there are solutions we can take home with us. As they say, this all begins from our homes and the kitchen is where it all begins is where it all starts so before we um wrap up guys i'd like to invite everyone to support again wwf philippines project silong um this is again a fundraising campaign uh, for our fishing communities out in Bicol that are affected by the back-to-back -back typhoons we are um really helping them be um you know, to reach global standards, which they've been training for, for sustainable fishing. This was the year that they were supposed to take that final exam and get that certification to be recognized in the world. And unfortunately, you know, this has really delayed them, but we need to help them get back on track and that they will be the face of Philippine fisher folk, you know, in the world of sustainable um, fishing and all of these things. So it is, it goes beyond uh, just helping out um, fishermen who have lost their livelihoods they, they this is something that they stand for and they, they can be the face of um of philippine fishermen worldwide that are doing things sustainably and, and properly so uh we can hashtag change the ending and also for our fellow filipinos build back better 
communities that are more sustainable and climate resilient. Flashing now on screen our bank account information where you can send your donations directly to the donation drive of WWF's Project Tilong. I also have been um, selling on Casey's Closet luxury gowns, shoes, bags, and pre-loved items that uh, a proceed of these um, of your purchases will go to Project Tilong. Your to the people who might be watching this that have bought um, Avecma jewelry, thank you. Your pro the proceeds have gone to this as well. Um, we've been able to raise like two, three hundred thousand pesos so far, and and hopefully we will all together uh, help our Philippine fisher folk out. And that concludes our for the our food for the soil be a soil mates live webinar you guys we hope that we inspired you to live sustainably and to apply the new learnings we got from today's show in your daily lives and in your future plans and i can't wait to try it out i can't wait also for our generation to all make this the new norm for all of us so stay tuned on wwf philippines official social media pages for announcements on future digital events and this has been casey concepcion wwf philippines newest ambassador now now, signing off. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody, and stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy.